guys, so today is gonna be my first full cooking video because this is what you guys have asked for. So here I am giving it to you. Today I'm going to try to make jackfruit crab cakes. I started to like jackfruit, especially like not eating meat. It's very tasty. And I've had the frozen jackfruit crab cakes from Trader Joe's and I wanted to try to make them myself from scratch. So this is my first attempt. Let's see how it goes. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you click that button down below. So unfortunately I had to shoot this video from this direction because as you can see, my cabinets are way too close to my face. But let's jump right on into the ingredient. You need one can of the green jackfruit, coconut flour, fresh parsley, spring onions, peppers, red, green, or whatever colors you want, sea salt, Old Bay, and I always like to add a little extra spices just because some homemade cashew sriracha cream sauce made it myself and boil a cup of cauliflower now let's pop open this can of jackfruit make sure you rinse it especially those now for those of you that have never seen jackfruit pieces before these are them there's these little hard parts at the tip that you actually should cut off because you just want to eat the other part so let's just chop those babies off chop 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 once you're done chopping them then you want to boil the jackfruit just a little bit to soften it up. Once the cauliflower is done, make sure you drain that as well. Yum, yum, yum. I love cauliflower. It's one of my favorites. Then you want to make sure to chop up the cauliflower as much as possible, even like smash it to make it like really small and flat. Now, I don't want to waste your time showing me chopping all these other ingredients. So don't rush. Don't rush. All right, here are the different ingredients. Parsley, string onions, cauliflower, and the peppers. Put that all together. Now that the jackfruit is done, you want to smash the jackfruit as well. You see how easy it breaks up? Look at that. Look at that. Just pulls right apart. Doesn't it look like crab to you? I'm sure it does. So now you take those pieces and start mixing it in with the other ingredients. And you want to make sure they're pulled apart. So even if you have to pull more apart with your fingers, you really want them to be as stringy as possible. Now, measurements aren't my favorite. This recipe called for a certain amount of parsley and peppers and things like that, but I like seeing color. So if there's not enough, I'm just going to add more. So that's what I did because I feel like it. Let's get to seasoning. So add some Old Bay. Mm, I should have probably added some more Old Bay. Now, I don't really like cooking with salt. So instead, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to add some garlic powder because you can never go wrong with garlic powder. So this recipe doesn't call for any of these extra seasonings, but I like to add them because I like some spice. So we're going to add a little black pepper, some crushed red peppers. Those are my favorite. Then you want to add three scoops of that sauce. Now you can also use vegan mayonnaise if you like, but I wanted to use my cashew sriracha cream sauce. Mix that baby on up. And let's just add a little more cayenne because, you know, I like a little kick. Now you add the three tablespoons of the coconut flour so it can hold. Sometimes I like to smell my food to make sure it actually smells good. If it doesn't, then I like to add more seasoning. I can never go wrong with garlic powder. Yeah, a little extra kick too. Why not? All right, now you want to form it into little like patties or balls, however you want your crab cakes to look. Then you want to saute them in some oil to brown them a little bit, not too much. Once you do that, you want to put it on a baking sheet with some parchment paper. You want to make sure to heat your oven to 400 degrees as well. So that could be all nice and hot before you put it in. Those look good already, don't they? I know. But just put them in the oven and make sure like it bakes all the way through. Not too long. Maybe like a good 10 minutes. I know they still look the same, but they're all nice and warm and cooked on the inside. And now you have to try it. All right, here. Mm -hmm. It's good. Say it again, Ma. It's good. So, the jackfruit cab crab cakes came out actually really good. I meant to record the other thing, landscape, so forgive me for that part. But yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually very proud of myself. Yum, yum, yum. Healthy and yummy. 